Thank you so much for watching. This is Anne-Marie from the Laid Back Mat. I have a little segment here. Little props to show. What are those things? What are what do we use them for? Uh, what's that? What am I doing here? So, what is yoga? What's yoga? Yoga? Huh? I can't do yoga. Yes, you can do yoga. If you can breathe, if you can move a little bit and mostly breathe, you can do yoga. You've got this. So we're going to talk about a little bit of this, that, a little Sanskrit, just sprinkle at the right places. So join me for a lot of fun. Namaste. Welcome to the Laid Back Mat. This is Anne Marie on a special edition for Aunt Pan Specialist. Uh, it's a beautiful international magazine based in Netherlands and they're going to publish my articles twice a month. Isn't that wonderful? Beautiful, beautiful team. So this is to supplement a little article I wrote about what is yoga and yoga is many things but yoga is really breathing moving mindfully that's what yoga is about and you can do yoga it's everybody as long as you can breathe you can do yoga so of course we can use prop i'm a big fan of props but also you don't need anything you don't even need shoes you can practice yoga waiting in line at the markets you can practice yoga anywhere as long as you can breathe and have a little bit of room for movement. That's yoga. So yoga is mindfully moving mentally. Uh, everything is with control. And you make it your own individualized yoga with your own body. So I tend to use a lot of the English name. But asanas, when we do an asana, it's a posture. That is why all the name of the different posture in Sanskrit, the old, the old language of yoga, the Sanskrit asana means posture. So all your postures ends in asana, tadasana, the mountain pose. Ah, all asana, asana is a posture. Also, you can learn, uh, if you learn a little bit of vocabulary, you can guess what those asana are all about. And maybe a little history that goes with them. Garuda and asana. There's a whole story with Garuda. I can tell you the story while, while doing the posture. It's uh, amazing. It's fun. But you get as much or as little as you want with that. I will not use much Sanskrit, but once in a while, I do like adding a little of it. Now, props. Let's talk about props. Props really help us gain lands that we don't have. So let's say we can use a strap. A strap can be also the sash of your bathrobe. And this is just to give us a little bit of more stability and also a little more lent on the arms, let's say in this case, so I don't have to reach to my foot all the way. So it's just give us an extension. Also the blocks, we can use the blocks just to bring the floor to us. Now this is much better. See if I was doing a chair yoga, because yes, you can do yoga on a chair. If you're doing chair yoga, you want really your legs to be like if you were forming a box, beautiful straight lines. And if they are too low, you're going to get way more out of it by propping them on your block. Your block can also be used to, uh, as an extension. You can't reach the floor. You can't reach the floor, your block maybe can. So you can just add the block. Just a little extensions 
You don't need a block, a good sturdy book is good. I also like using a blanket, a towel rolled up will do. And this is very nice when you're laying down or use as a bolster or just to gain a little height when you sit on the ground. Bring your bum a little higher so your knees get to go down more. Maybe you feel more comfortable that way. So that's my little segment to go with my article for Anspan Specialist. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but they'll get better at it. So from Anne-Marie from the Laidback Map, Namaste.